Okay, Okayama track guide um, tracks 28 degrees, so it's not the fastest track. The setups in the description below. Um, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment if you see something you like or don't, or if you got some tips for me. So we'll do a slow slow mo, go through it, and then uh, full speed after that. So coming up to turn one, just before the blue marker, I'm going to leave it in third. If you're going into second, you can probably break a little later, but I find you carry more speed uh, in third when your tires are hot. When your tires are cold, second's probably your best bet. Turning the car in, just feathering the throttle a bit, aiming for this patch. Get up on the curb, cut the corner a bit, and just keep it a little tighter to the right. You don't have to run real wide, you're just going to elongate the track. Setting yourself up, getting over to the right for the next turn. So this is probably my weakest corner on the track. So I'm lifting here. Again, the track's a little slippery. I could probably not lift as much as I did. And just getting back on the throttle. Should be at full throttle here, I think. Hugging that curb. And I could probably unwind the wheel a little bit quicker. And you can make use of the curbs here. Uh, if you did it a little faster, you probably get a little bit on the sand. That's okay. Coming up here, a lot of people keep it on the pavement, turning the wheel, and I find it scrubs a little speed. You can actually take this curb and just kind of straight line it a little better. You won't gain much time, maybe a couple of thousandths or hundredths, um, one, two, three hundredths. And it just sets you up a little easier. Not so much steering to get into this next corner. I'm going to be down going down into second braking just before this 50 board pretty hard on the brakes like I said down into second getting into this curb on the right and just aiming for that sandy patch getting on the power get on the power early this is a big straight coming up so you want to have a good run otherwise the guys behind you will eat you up keeping it pretty tight but unwinding the wheel so you're not scrubbing speed too so if you're coming in a little hotter you might want to unwind and go a little wider but you don't want to scrub speed holding it too tight So coming up to the Marshall stand here, going to break just before it, down into first. I see some people stay pretty wide to open this up, but I find if you get really into the corner, the camber will let you carry more speed. Pretty hard braking. You don't want to get too much on the curb and get back on the throttle. And I could probably hold this one a little tighter than I did, uh, but it was not too bad. I would have preferred to be a little bit more over to the right. And then coming up to the next one, stay, staying or shifting up to second and staying in second and lifting just before this sandy patch. Shouldn't really have to brake, maybe on cold tires. Getting on this curb, you got to keep a tire on the track, otherwise it's a nasty, ugly slowdown. But you want to take as much of that as you can. Staying in second, you can get pretty wide here again, just keeping a tire on the track. 
and just before this second curb here just lifting and just rinse and repeat same thing get onto this curb keep a tire on the track get on the throttle early feather it up unwind the wheel get over to the right you can use this curb uh, again just keep a tire on the track otherwise it's a slowdown so this is a tricky one if there's a car in front of you it's hard to see but between the 50 board and this oily patch up here getting on the brakes down into first I, s I leave it in third into that corner but down into first getting onto this curb on the left real tight getting on the power as early as you can and holding it to the left as much as you can you don't want to run too wide otherwise you got to get all the way back over and you can screw up this next corner which will cost you a lot more time so still in first normally I just lift here but I ac actually hit the brakes a bit you can get away if you lift a little earlier and just skip the brakes holding it tight making use of that curb and then just unwinding full throttle and just at this Marshall Station you want to turn in don't have to lift maybe on the first lap maybe a little and get on this curb don't go over the curb because it's quite a nasty ridge but get on the curb you can just keep the wheel straighter scrub less speed down to the final turn and I'm using between the end of the green patch and between the end of the sand in the middle just getting on the brakes another straightaway so you want to make sure you nail this one and just shorten the track take this curb a bit make sure you keep a tire on the track no 1x no slowdown and then just unwinding it and you can use this whole track I think as long as you keep your tire your right tire on the red and white curb there's no 1x no troubles and that is a lap <laughs>